This is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a great one on tap between the Tennessee Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Right at the convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive, we welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A few moments ago, the Steeler offensive starters, including all-pro wideout Antonio Brown, were introduced. They've got this crowd in a frenzy as they get set to square off with Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for the visiting Titans, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together. Try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. The numbers for Antonio last week comfortably up over 100 yards when cruising past that number and two touchdowns. How'd you like to be the D coordinator this week? He watched that game last week, and I know his first thought was we have to find a way to take him out of the game plan. We cannot let him do that to us. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. 
They're going to look to throw. Got him in. It's Brown. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Well, he had his eyes on 200 yards last week, earned an AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he was really, really good. Fun to watch back in tape with you. It was fun to watch, wasn't it? He's trying to have the same type of a game in this one. But what was fun watching was how he read the defense. No matter what they presented, he had an answer for it. And that's why he was open during that game. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Now they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Let's go! Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And the snap will come inside the five at the four. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Back to throw here. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. In for the score. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out. of six. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Come on, let's go! He'll drop to throw. This is Bell on the dump off. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. It's a loss of two, now third down. 
Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in his first half. It's a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. the play fake he'll look to throw and his throw here's incomplete today's nfl these big guys are featured receivers they move them all over the place to try and find good matchups and they had one they were just unable to complete the pass line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10 Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. They'll look to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Pass interference. Defense. Well, Antonio Brown can wreak oh, havoc in so many down. ways here. He's able to cause a P.I. penalty. He runs the defensive backs with such speed and power. I think it creates panic on their end, and a lot of times they just reach out and grab him, and that's the result there, a pass interference call. Come on, let's go! What? Nine. Looking to throw. And that's incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Back to throw now on second and 10. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there in a first down. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice game. throw now on first down and an alley to run that's 30 yards now in the last two plays back to back 15 yarders and they're rolling containing him is becoming a big problem we've already seen this once earlier in this drive yeah and so now two times this has happened do you adjust something yeah i think you do i think you gotta start thinking about your rush lanes try not to either get too wide or too narrow make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. They'll set up a throw. This will be caught at about the six. 
And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Three yards is the game that time. Second and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll look to throw here. Forced out to his left. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here we go! They'll drop the throw. And it's caught! It's Brown! Touchdown, Steelers! Antonio Brown, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. receiver it looks like you're going to bump and run with him press coverage and then he just takes off straight for the quarterback and someone comes behind him to pick up the receiver and as a former member of the secondary it makes you happy too doesn't it i can't i can't lie about it <laughs> i got a big grin on my face too that was a heck of a play a heck of a call a sack. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. They'll throw now on the final play. Looking deep downfield. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City with the Steelers on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for... All right, folks, eager to... kick off the drive and it's a quick first down so from the 36 now first and 10 Cut. on first down he'll drop to throw and he finds a man with a crossing route and they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done that one goes for 24 yards 
They'll look to throw here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Now back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Hodges. And he'll go down at the 28. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get this down to the 10. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. to throw and caught in the end zone touchdown Steelers as his guys are in for six and the Steelers are going to add on to their lead a good sustained drive there in this third quarter capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two score advantage it was actually a fun one to watch wasn't it I mean for me seeing the mix of what they did how they moved the ball downfield set up to throw oh he got position on him and he pulls it in that goes for a gain of 31 that's an excellent read right there saw cover one that means it's just a single high safety so you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field help is going to be a little bit late getting there and he puts one out there for a big time completion So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Come on, he'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. He had back. 
Incomplete in the end zone. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And the Steelers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time they face a third and two. Buying time to his left. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads. it up around the 22 but no further did flash the fancy footwork but not much to show for it so many times you hear today's nfl described as a space game get your best players into space with the football in their hands that's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner get him out in the flat now look at this they get the turnover they, and oh they coughed it up and that might be titan football it is Titans getting set to go. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Still first down. to throw and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down Charles I think back to your earlier statement about the visitors being the underdogs needing to win that turnover battle and this defense they forced two turnovers so far a big reason why they lead this game yeah and I know defense has always talked about getting turnovers and bunches getting those takeaways two is not a bunch but it's plenty in this game exactly the formula they need I gotta tell you, partner, I like it when you think back to something I said. It actually comes true. It's actually right. It happens more often than you might think. <laughs> now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Open man right side of Smith Schuster complete. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A big play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third of the year. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is the absolute production on the field. 
His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that. to throw. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he hurls him at the 35. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive. 17 yards and moves the sticks. All right, partner. I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. He'll look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Here we go! He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And the Steelers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. They'll look to throw. But it's brought in by Washington. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. And that one results in 35 yards. Back to throw. Escapes the sand. They'll roll him out right. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. And welcome back. The offensive unit, they took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. After the sack here, second and 11. He'll drop to throw. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. And the Steelers on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. Back to throw here. He gets it to Brown. Good play. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, 
there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Cut! They're going to look to throw. Steps away to his left. And fights for He takes it across for the touchdown. And they've taken the lead late in the final medal of the fourth. Wow. Wow. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score... They might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10 yard line that final shot though they couldn't get it in the end zone and that's all she wrote and they had the final shot the last snap taken that close to the end zone they don't get it in so they'll regret that but flip it over making a stand in that portion of the field congratulations to them so for Pittsburgh, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 on the new campaign. And they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they'll drop down to 1-3. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.